use it to kill somebody, but it's like, nah, dude, like 15% move speed to catch to catch a Zeus. I mean, you're not really a damage dealer on support Marcy. Miracle finding the opening over here onto Ana, but they're going to be able to toss away. No, it's still going to end up in a kill. Now Box, you're going to get chased down by Miracle. He's got those spider legs and saying, yeah, he's going to try to teleport out. He is not going to be able to do it. Samael will finish him off. Uh, actually, now he did get out. Oh, he, he just did. died oh, in goodness. the fountain. He died in the fountain. Oh, and the BKB gets popped over on Zai. Miracle, he's hunting. He's got the Silver Ridge in place. They're hoping that maybe oh. they can get it. Yes, they do. Just at the last second, the BKB is not going to be enough time. <laughs> so they'll clean up four dead. Misha looks like he's going to go deny himself to the tier two tower. He's expended all of his resources. Drops the voice oh, line. Oh, the, the TP from Fate Beyond. He comes in. Gets the first blood. He saw that coming. <laughs> well deserved tip. Misha thought he was just going to be absolutely fine to deny himself there. As well, has already his BKB. Oh, there's Zeus ulti for the Ember. They know he has no TP. No remnant back. And if they saw that, they're going to sit on it. Uh oh. Where is so, he? So, Celestial Hammer searching for nothing to say. Did they catch a glimpse of him? And they might with the Courier. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, resolution. Courier. Nothing to say. Kill the Courier. Spotted. They see him. So Celestial Hammer still off to the left. Nothing to say. Will Sight of Fist this creep wave and take it out? Okay, he's got some gold for his troubles. Let's see if he survives. Remnants back and it's what? right into <laughs> the techies. I mean, they were waiting there. They were all waiting there. It tipped him instantly as he activated his. Oh map. yeah. It's gonna it's act like as the when... canary for some male mind control here. Mind control still hanging around. Let's see. Power shot fired across. There's more coming oh, in for nice Shackle. Ooh, that was a beautiful Shackle. Yeah, that's going to cancel out the grip. The Nightmare will actually fail from the Bane here. And now when his curse comes through, this might be really bad for TSM. Let's see what they can do on Nygma here. They're bringing in the heroes, but they will bring down Dupu. Now Samael fighting up into Saberlight. Saberlight's a pretty scary boy, though. No, going to need a little bit more damage than that to bring him down. So the Shackle for the time being. It's going to be I need to get these final hits off. It's going on a long chase. The Sticky Bomb coming into play. We'll slow down Maposhka just a bit. I don't know if he's going to be able to get this uh, uphill mischance. Oh, Fairy Fire gets used. Poshka snapping up the bounty room. Doesn't want to let Zayats get that. Turns back around with the Splinter Blast and does have the Arctic Burn. So he's got his own range here. That Sticky Bomb doesn't actually connect. Zayat sitting at 18 hit points. He's trying to just break these ankles. But at the end of the day, Maposhka with the Arctic Burn is going to be able to collect. Scale, a little bit short. And it's Ooh, almost done. Towards the hill. Sunray, maybe. Can they increase time to go in? They're going to go with the BKBs. They'll go for a Rosh. Yoragi going. Going for it, but the Aegis is snatched by Brile. He picks it up. They're going to fight man to man or, well, or bear to rock. They'll try and fight it. Tomato joins in. It's going to be a 2v1. They get the kill here on a Yuragi. Ooh. They'll take out the Urza and they'll look over at Amar. The damage is coming in with the help of the Avalanche to stun him up. They'll toss him away and take away his life. Two heroes down on the side of OG and they get the Aegis in their hands. Misha looking like a plus one. Saberlight looking for the high five. Misha won't give it to him, but hey, Saberlight, I got you. Very tough ask. So they're going to have to be very careful if you're TSM and maybe get themselves a start off kill with the Mar, but so they're not going to get it just yet. He's got the Lotus Orb. He tosses his Bryo up into the air as he tossed him. Yoragi's in, but now on the run. Supernova in a decent spot. They've got the Waiting Rift. It's on to three, so that'll stop them from moving forward. Well, three oil. Coils down on the four. BCM, he's got the control, but does he have the life to survive at all? They get the kill on the Duba. They'll take it the Phoenix. They'll look over now. Tomato, the Thunder reflected. No, no, no. You do not get my life. I'll take yours. They'll look for Bryo. They'll look for the team wipe. TSM in trouble and they only lose the warlock my oh my og obliterate and wipe the oh, floor with catch him not catch him. oh they're all hunting him though yeah they he's got the face he's gonna use his really well spire wow chain frost one shot all right and now he's taking him on a trip no two people just doesn't have his rocket ship ow, 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 ow. Uh, well that yeah okay that's gonna hurt so the lanes they're starting these fights it's not quite as easy for the side Enigma. Yeah, Miracle's getting pretty fat down here, though, uh, as a result of him being in the offlane. It means that GH was able to walk over here and stack up some camps. Ah. Uh, uh... Okay. All right. Textbook manner. It always helps when they're on heroes that they're super comfortable with, too. We talk about Waposhka being on the Phoenix. We talk about Toronto Tokyo. Oh, oh, okay. All right. Uh, hey, Nisha, what's up? Gonna slow him down and throw out the hammer, but it's still first blood going to collapse. So this bat is uh, having a great time. 
And they're going to rebound, try and jump, try and find an escape. The Cruiser Pod's on trouble. Arctic Burn and Toronto Tokyo, he's staying. Mira's here too. Searing chains onto the bear. They'll look over Mira. Ooh, nothing to say. He's the one who's in trouble. Taking a lot of damage. The Lucid Beam. There's the kill. And they're going to go in for more. They've got the BKB pop by Toronto Tokyo. They'll jump away with Mira. Up into the air. Cyclone to Izyatoro. The bear hitting away, but he's got the remnants to try and leave. All oh, nice curse. curse is in onto the Viper. It's locked down. Three of these heroes, Toronto, Tokyo, as well as Mira, trying to run. They've got themselves to dispose onto the bear, as well as the Mystic Flare. It's out on Ame. They get the kill to collapse. The Eclipse is dropped Luna down, but the aren't hurting enough. They've got the kill on Teatro. Faith Beyond with a double kill, and now they look over Toronto, Tokyo. He's slowed up, stunned off, wow. killed off, triple kill. Faith Beyond is godlike, and LGD come out the victors on that Night one. Nightstar for silence, which... Status resistance does nothing against this. Shadow Shaman, his abilities are long. Somnus poking away at Mickey. They put the Lotus Orb over here. He's got the Silence, but already Chalice has popped that Exorcism, so he's got the spells going that he wants. And it's going to... Look at this! Look at the balls on this man! He just teleports right into their base. He's 3v4, and he, yeah, he's Good just... God! He's feeling himself. It looks like they're waiting for the ult to end and they might go on him. Throw out a casual concoction and the Fey Grenade. Look at, he's just literally taking these racks by himself. They can't fight him if he has, if he has the ult up. I think he'll just turn around and kill campers. him. Again, look at LGD bringing numbers to guard these early active runes. It does spawn bottom as a regen there, but M Miposhka's Viper, unfortunately just meets three of them in the river. I'm a little afraid for Team Spirit that they're going to need to be playing four versus five. This Viper is going to be just a meat. Like, he, he's going to go Korea. in. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, you know, you're going to be using ulti potentially and uh, standing in front of the fight and the dying rupture on the bear. Yeah, focusing down the bear. Collapse. Just giving it the wax with the entangling claws and the damage from Arme. They're going to find a Bloodseeker kill before they can even finish off the bear. He's still alive. And up top, Faith Bian swings back. Both of the side lanes picking up a killing spree. Yatsuro dropping, giving the double kill to the Razor. No, oh, sidekick. Does he even need to deny? Him? Yes, he, does. he can. Like... Beautifully done. Why Good buy back for this like this liquid. They're just going to send some of these guys back. They know that big boys are not going to be able to make it to this pit right now. So they're going to have to trade back and forth a little bit. And Sadia taking so much damage. There it is, though. There's the Aegis. Oh, it's on the ground. Dang it, but it's on the ground. And Exo goes, goes and he snatches it up. They got the Roche, but they end up getting the Aegis. They end up losing Ana, ex Nova God, as now Mickey forced to run for his life. What a crazy fight here. And they're not even done, because they do still have multiple heroes. It's a triple kill now for Somnus. Strike, strike, strike. All right, ex the carry now. He's the carry, officially. Well, Liquid are all alive again. Very close to having all their cooldowns ready, but a nightmare and silence from Saberlight. They've caught him out again. Tidehunter just can't catch a break as I and controlled so beautifully by TSM and blown up by Brawl. He gets the Ravage off for the last second, still alive somehow, and Anna really pumping it towards the Tiny, but the Shadow Blade gives him the safety to slip away from danger. Tomato's TB oh, opening up on the Spectre. They can't kill off Anna, and Sableite finally does fall. Linkwitch, good show in here, but Brawl's back in, tossing Mickey into the arms of the Terror Blade. Tomato able to stand his ground up on his cliff top. No one can make their ways up the staircase. Otto does have a Sunder. He's he thinking indeed. about it. He like, needs a big target. He wants Anna. Spectre. If Anna comes nearby, Silver Edge. Sundered. That's Dubu down. Anna still charging forward. The Sunder from Tomato on an illusion. Zai comes in with the Anger Smash. Damage reduction. Tomato dying. Anna with a triple kill. He Liquid. got baited. He Benting got baited by in. the illusion. Sucking them towards these illusions and battering them back. I'm a little surprised that that's gonna have a free time. They need to manipulate the creep wave. They cannot play the lane. Smoke also, smoke. let's see if first. Two man boundless. They've got the spin from Arme. Miracle being focused. Juggernaut gonna take him down with Jinkyu's final touch. Now mind control, the one in trouble. Arme looking to try and slip away, but he's dead. Kuro gonna get slapped down by Faith Beyond. And the rest of them looking to scramble out and evade this danger, but Nigma lost four. GH, the last man standing, and Jinkyu's not full, done. They want a, a team wipe. wipe. They want it. Before creeps even spawn, the horn hasn't been sounded, and LGD just slammed them. I don't remember seeing a full. <laughs> Without Invoker, there's no such thing as defending base. They just lack damage. So now that Invoker is up, they smoke up. They're going to try to go for the base defense. They need a shackled shot, something clutch, you know? 
trying to go around the bend and get themselves GH, but unfortunately Misha now caught. Static Link gets there, Black Hole comes out, immediately stop though, try to follow it up with the Cataclysm, but it's not gonna do any damage, it doesn't land. OG on their last legs, as Yuragi trying to run and they'll just call GG. This game is over and the series is split. Trying to use the Vendetta to make something happen. He's going into the Aeon Disc as well as the Ghost Scepter. Chalice, meanwhile, he's going Satanic, but he can't hurt. Hookshot comes in, they've got the Cogs, but there's the Nimbus down. And Thunder God's Wrath, they'll use the Spear, they'll lock up Kaka, the arena is in. But Somnus with the BKB, he's able to escape the grasp of Toronto Tokyo. He goes into the Refresher, he's gonna have another arena. They've got the Silence on the two, they drop down the bit, Diagram, and look at the damage on the Kaka. Hookshot again from Mira, and Ghost is gone. He's been turned into his namesake, and he'll be that namesake for 85 seconds. Still. They opt to go in on this, though, is the question. Love to grab Somnus. All right, nice Slytherin Crush coming out from Zai, but the follow-up, oh my god, Kaka just got obliterated here. And now the follow-up talent sitting over onto the top I spot. They're gonna end up losing Zai. Boxy trying to climb away. Mickey goes for the Ravage, but he's gonna have to go and pop the Satanic to try to stay alive because they have so much going on. And Boxy dead now. It's just Mickey standing here against the world, trying to just buy more time because on the bottom lane, Ana is just taking the tower, taking these racks. They have to get there fast and they've got to get out of there. And it looks like it's not gonna be a problem. Ana just teleports away. He got a tower. He got a Rax. They end up losing almost everyone, though, over on the side of Liquid during that engagement. I don't know, Jenkins.